Curtin University subscribes to more than 450 databases. Knowing how to identify databases that are most relevant to your study and research needs is very important. The following slides will provide an overview of databases and you will hopefully have a better understanding about the different types of databases available and the key terms associated with them. Now, A full text database is one that contains the full text of the articles or resources that a database indexes. Within the database, there may be links to either a HTML or PDF version of the article. Full text databases may not necessarily have all the articles available in full text. In fact, to be considered a full text database, at least 60% of articles must be available. Now, these types of databases offer the ability to limit a search to just full text items. However, as you can see, this will drastically limit the number of items that you're searching for. Some examples of full text databases include Business Source Premier, Art Full Text, and Science Direct. Now, the next set of databases that you might come across are multidisciplinary databases. These are generic in nature and index material from a broad range of subject areas. These can be a great place to start your searching, particularly if you're not quite sure what terms you should be using or which subject area to search. Some examples of multidisciplinary databases include ProQuest, Web of Knowledge and Informit. And the good news is multidisciplinary databases are often full text. Now, many databases are subject or discipline specific. This means that the database specializes in indexing resources in a particular discipline. These are often considered the core databases that should be used for comprehensive literature search in that area. When all the items are indexed from the same discipline area, this makes it easier for a thesaurus or a controlled vocabulary to be used. Now these are consistent and predefined terminologies for describing and organizing information. Using the preferred terms within the indexes will allow you to retrieve more relevant results. As you can see, some examples of discipline specific databases are the Avery Index to Architectural Periodicals, Medline and IEEE Explore, which contains electrical and electronic engineering materials. Bibliographic or citation databases are those that contain only the citation details for the article's index. For example, the article title, the journal name and publication details, and often the abstract to provide a summary of the article. While the database does not contain the full text to the articles, it will contain a find it link quite often, which is this red button appearing on the screen, which will check whether the item is held at Curtin Library. This will either link you to the full text of the article, show you how to locate the print copy, or tell you that no copy is available at Curtin Library, in which case you can explore other options such as document delivery. Now, some examples of bibliographic databases include ERIC, which now comes under the ProQuest platform, PsycInfo, Agricola and Biology Digest. Now, many databases index more than just journal articles. Within a database, you can often limit by content type, and this often extends to limiting to scholarly or peer-reviewed articles only. In content-specific databases, other types of material, including images, newspaper articles, patterns, standards, and so on, are indexed. And some examples include Factiva, Standards Online Premium, which has Australian and international standards, Art Full Text, and LexisNexis, which covers Australian legal and legislative publications. Well, we've come to the end of this session, and I hope you have a better understanding of the different types of databases available. Thank you.